okay guys so as you can see we are all finished with our pieces now it is time for us to join this together okay so what i have done is i do have my markers so i counted the spaces from the other side to the other side okay so i have here it's the spaces that i counted okay so the spaces so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so in the 14 space okay i put my markers and i did the same i match the same as the other side okay so now i just attach my yarn into i'm going to use this yarn here to attach and i'm just going to do use or use my needle okay to attach this as a single crochet you can use this side you can use whatever uh stitching you you like to connect this but if you're going to follow me and then i'm going to use this uh pattern okay so from here i'm just going to go into that last stitch there okay so this is my my last stitch here so i'm just going to insert there and into the other side i'm going to insert there as well okay and i'm going to pull up okay and i'm going to go back to that stitch and go back to the other side as well and i'm just going to do a single crochet and then we're just going to match so from here i'm going to pull or insert my hook into the front loop in this side and the other side is the back loop okay so the front loop here is the one that is closest to you so if you're doing this okay so this is where i'm going to insert so we have two loops in our chain okay this is the back loop and this is the front loop so this is where i'm going to insert but because we have a chain one space here i'm going to go back there and insert my hook and into the other side so this is our first chain here just make sure that you are picking up the right chain okay so this is where the loop is and this is the the front loop and i'm going to insert into the back loop okay so this one here okay and then pull up and do a single crochet so in every chain okay so this one is the next inserting here and taking that and this is the back loop and pull through and single crochet into the chain one space and into the chain one space which is this one here chain one space and then single crochet into the 
top of double crochet and the top of double crochet in the other side so just make sure that it's not too tight I'm just um, single crocheting it nicely and we're gonna continue a little bit more and see okay so this is where we are at at the moment and then if we're going to turn it the other side this is how it looks like okay but then we have these lines over here and we have our connect into the middle okay so it is not really it doesn't really matter because we have the color here so if you're going to use the yellow and then the yellow will appear there which is going to blend to this color okay so i'm happy with this um but if you're using one color that is totally okay you just use the color that you're using and it won't see anything okay so we're just going to continue doing this single crochet i'm just being slow so you you will see what i'm doing guys and um so this one is in the chain one space this one is the chain one space okay and we're just going to continue this um after this i'm going to do the other side as well and uh please do the same but i'm going i will be doing it off camera i'm not going to show this uh this is the only side that i'm going to show you guys because we will be doing the same thing anyway okay so at the moment if it is not stretched it looks like that but if you're going to stretch it up and then it will be like that but i like these uh two sides here that is showing because it's like it's really like cute so if you're going to stretch that like inside and then it will shows like that okay okay so i'm going to continue this until here and i will come back guys when i'm done because i'm thinking i will be doing a single crochet into this side and then going to the other side okay so i will continue doing this until here and then i'll come back and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do on this part here okay guys so as we got to the end okay so with this end here what i did is just okay i grab the two strand on the top of this double crochet okay so this is our last okay and on top of the double crochet i grab the two strand instead of one and going in the other side and grabbing both as well and from here single crochet and going back to the, the same sp space is put into double crochet so it's just the security as this will be our uh, shoulder okay so it will be pulled so for myself just for security i'm going to uh, do two double crochet um, to stop okay so from here we're going to um, go in this chain one space and we are going to do a slip stitch 
chain two and this same space we are going to do a double crochet okay we're going to do three double crochet okay with our chain one chain three space okay and then we're going to skip skip this double crochet skip this space and then we're going to okay so we're going to skip this one space here and the two double crochet and then we're going to jump into the second space and do a slip stitch and chain two and then replacing three double crochet in the same space So we have a total of kind of four okay and then the same thing so skip this two double crochet skip this space one here and we're going to go straight into the next one and slip stitch so this is how our shoulder will look like like that just like that okay so we will be just doing the same thing okay so after you slip stitch you're going to chain two and three double crochet So that's one, two, and three. And then skipping this space here and into the next space, slip stitch. And then chain two. And then you're going to continue placing three double crochet into that same space okay and skipping one space and going to the next space by putting slip stitch and two double crochet okay so this is how our neck is going to look like okay so i will be doing these guys until to the end okay and I'm going to do the same here as what we did here. So continue doing that, guys. And I'm going to sew this side as well. Okay, so our armpit. I will be doing the same thing as what we did here. Or you can, um, it's up to you. It's up totally to you. And this side here is the same i'm going to sew it and the same as this side okay sew this up okay so with this side here okay with this side here i'm going to come back guys and i'm going to show you um what to do with that side okay for now we're going to concentrate on our shoulder part i okay? guess so continue doing this and then i'll come back and do the other side okay and i'm going to show you the bottom part okay i will be doing this full shoulder as we did in the first side here you just have to do this complete until you get to your marker and then you have to do the same stitch we have here single crochet into the front loop and the back loop okay until you finish and then i'll come back later on and we'll continue okay guys so i am done with my other side so now i am going to do the same in this side so i'm just going to insert my hook and my yarn into this part here and then pull up and chain one 
and then go into this space here as we are going to start in this side okay so slip stitch and then we're going to chain two and in the same space we are going to place three double crochet and we skip this and then into the next space slip stitch chain two and three double crochet and skip space and to the next is slip stitch and then chain two and we are going just to continue this placing three double crochet after the chain two and skip one space and then the next slip stitch okay so continue doing this guys and so this will be <coughs> our other side so we have like this same side okay Maybe I should uh, pull this yarn over here. Maybe just to close that gap. And pull up this side. Maybe just here and just close it i didn't realize that okay so by then it will be like that okay so that's perfect and then i'm just going to wave in this tail later okay so for now i'm just going to insert the okay to hold it and then i'm going to wave in it later so now this is how it looks like okay so that looks better than separated because this will be our shoulder okay so that shows like that okay so continue doing that guys i'm going to continue this and then i am going to show you what to do with this side here and going down okay i'll be right back okay guys so i'm going to show you now how to um connect this underarm so I'm just going to do a slip knot you, you can use yellow or you can use you know uh, either um, yarn you can use either two so with this one I'm just going to um, insert this first and then I'm going to insert into the third chain from the hook and I'm going to locate the other side so third chain from the hook okay so this space here and I'm going to pull up and chain one and then going back into the same space and then I'm going to do my single crochet okay so from here okay we are going to do the same so i'm not going to um crochet this one because it will show later maybe okay so the tail i'm going to sew it later and grabbing 
into the chain one space. Grabbing the front loop here and the back loop in the other side. And then single crochet. Just make sure that it's tight into here. Okay, so front loop here and then back loop in the other side and single crochet and into the top of double crochet and make sure that you grab the right one and just continue okay doing this and then we're going to change we're going to change so up until here we're going to continue this side guys and i'm going to change color to our blue one when we get to the side because we can't use this <clears throat> so when we got to the end we're just going to cut our yarn and wave in our end but I'm going to let you do that guys as it's very easy you just hide the tail okay so here in here i'm going to grab both loops and just double crochet because this is our side okay and then we are going to start from here i'm just going to attach my yarn okay just like that and pull up my yarn here and tie this up okay and we are going to wave in our ends as well later okay and then chain one but then i'm going to start here as well okay so just do a single crochet there and then here uh, my tails I'm going to sew that later and we're going to chain two now three because this is our double crochet and into this double crochet head here where our double crochet connected I'm going to insert there and then insert into the other side as well and single crochet chain three and jump into the next one so i don't know if you can see it but this is where we're connecting so insert here and into the other side okay so here insert and single crochet chain three and continue because here is we have the double crochet so here is the connection of our rows okay so insert there and into the other side we connect here as well so insert there and we do our mm, it catches i don't know where Okay, so insert there 
and insert into the other side that's better okay and single crochet and continue insert there and insert there and we will be doing this in the other side as well okay so continue doing that guys and when you get to the end uh just um cut your yarn off and then go to the other side and continue doing that so with the bottom part is i'm not going to do anything i will just leave it just like that okay and it will be just like simple like that okay and then we are finished i'm going to come back when i'm done and i'm going to show you what it looks like okay guys so this is how it looks like so we are finished and this is how it looks like in our mannequin and this is what we did on the top okay so this is the one side okay because as you can see we have our yellow at the back so if you want to put the pink on the front this will look like that okay and then i'm going to show you the yellow in the front Okay guys, so this is how it looks like with our yellow in the front. Okay, so you can use it, you know, pink in the front, yellow in the front, and it is very, very fun. I love it. Um, the bottom is the same, but you can play with your color. I really like this one, so I might do uh, different different color and um, I'm just going to play with it and this is perfect for for this season for summer okay and you can put this as well like you can use this like a vest or something um, yeah you can put your long sleeve if it is like you're going to work or something and then you can put this on I think it will be good so I might do that I might put it on myself and um, I'm going to show you guys so uh, watch out for that so thank you very much guys this concludes our tutorial so with this one i really loved it i had fun making it and then um and then seeing seeing the result okay and of our project it just makes me happy and i can't wait to put this on myself and uh, play with it so you know um i can use either yellow in the front or pink at in the front okay so i'm so i'm so 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 excited so hopefully you guys you like this video and if you do please um give this a big thumbs up and share as well and if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button it will help me grow my channel and um i can't wait to share with you guys um my other project i'm just finishing it so Thank you very much guys for tuning in and for watching um, this video and I'm going to see you in the next video and have a great one everyone and have a great weekend. This is our, my Sunday today so I will enjoy my Sunday and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.